guys welcome back to my channel so today I've got uh, another tutorial for you uh, in which I will be showing you how to play PSP, PSP games on your uh, Android device uh, so other than that we can start so first thing you will have to do is head over to Play Store on your Android device and search for PSP emulator uh, and download this little program you can see right now on the screen uh, after you downloaded it and installed it on your Android device uh, you wanna uh, download some type of a game you want to play on your Android device uh, so PSP game and put it on your Android device anywhere uh, where you will know where it is uh, so maybe for on SD card or somewhere else uh, so after you've done that and you know where it is you open up the PSP emulator and search for the game uh, you got three tabs over here so you click games and go head over to the uh, to the folder you put the game in uh, and it should pop up with a little icon as you can see on here you can change the style on how you see everything uh, so after you found it on your Android device, all you have to do is basically click on it and the game should launch. So this is a pretty easy method. You can play games, uh, PSP games on your Android device. So it's not really hard. Uh, all you have to do is really download the game you want to play and put it on your Android device. That's the most work you have to do. And other than that, other than that it works really smooth. Uh, you, as you can see you got the full controller as you would on the PSP uh, so I wouldn't recommend playing uh, FPS games as it would be really hard to play but other than that like Worms or maybe all like strategy, strategy games uh, they are more than uh, better to, to play on, on this method so yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video it would be appreciated if you could leave a like on it. Uh, if you want to see how to play PS1 games on your Android device as well, then I've got a, a tutorial for that as well. I'll leave, I will leave a link down in the description and as also an annotation on the screen. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that as well. Uh, and other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see any of my future videos, it would be appreciated if you could subscribe. And I will see you later on my next video. See ya.